Okay, I have to say the fake Hermione wand is really close to the real Hermione wand. Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter <laughs> Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are going to look at a variety of Harry Potter related merchandise items from Wish.com. We'll do some comparisons of authentic or authorized Harry Potter merchandise items versus these Wish items which are unauthorized or not authentic. And authorized simply means that Warner Brothers did not approve the maker of these items to produce these items. We're going to look at some of the higher quality ones and the lower quality ones that you can purchase from Wish and compare them to real Noble Collection wands, as well as some other Harry Potter related replicas like the Marauder's Map, for example. There's a lot of Harry Potter related merchandise in this pile, so let's get started. For purposes of this video, so I don't have to say unauthorized or authentic, I'm just gonna shorten it to real and fake. So real items are authorized, fake items are not authorized. All right, let's start with the Marauder's Map since that was on top. I paid $5.70 plus a $5 shipping fee for this Marauder's Map here. Look at the comparison to the Noble Collection Marauder's Map. But we're going to open it up and check it out. All right, so what I'm seeing right now is it's just like a mini version of the Marauder's Map. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't open up any further than this. So there is a little flap in the center here. Oh, it's not even a flap. It's just kind of pasted onto the map itself. So the real Marauder's Map opens up like crazy pants. There's nothing on the back, just like the fake one. But on the real one, the center flap you can interact interact with, fold it open. It reveals different rooms in Hogwarts. So when it comes to the replica, obviously the real one from Noble Collection is the winner. Now, a benefit to the smaller one is if you are cosplaying as a Marauder or as one of the Weasley twins or Harry, this may be a good option because you may not want to be carrying this around while you are cosplaying. So a smaller version would be helpful. So that's a benefit to this one right here. We have, I have to admit, I opened opened this one and it's the time turner. So here is the wish time turner that you receive and it is fantastic. This is an incredible fake time turner. It feels high quality. It feels very similar to the Noble Collection time turner. It's a little bit larger than the Noble Collection time turner, but it has writing on the side, just like the normal time turner. The middle spins, the second ring spins. The chain is a nice length. Here is the Noble Collection time turner, which comes in this nice display case. And again, it's a little bit smaller compared to the Wish Time Turner. Now on the Noble Collection website, you get this whole package for $50. On wish.com, you get this for free. All you have to do is pay $4 for shipping. I mean, that is crazy to get a $4 time turner that looks just like this. This is fantastic for cosplay, especially if you don't want to take out your $50 time turner from the Noble Collection. Obviously this one is more detailed and shinier and a richer gold color, but without having them side by side, you would never know that this isn't the Noble Collection time turner. So I'm very impressed with this wish item. Now, when it comes to the time turner and other items that are are similar that you can purchase from Noble Collection, Wish.com will post photos of this entire setup here, but you'll only receive the time turner. So just be careful if you're purchasing the time turner, for example, you will most likely just get the time turner and not the display case, even if it's pictured with the item. And a lot of times the description won't say doesn't come with a display case or something similar to that. So make sure you do your research. And in this case, if you see a time turner for $5 and this whole setup is pictured, you're most likely just going to get the time turner itself. Usually with Wish, you get what you pay for, which sometimes is really good. Okay, I think I'm gonna save the wands for last, and there are two more necklaces that I ordered. So since we're talking about necklaces, let's do those next. Let me find them. This feels like it could be a necklace. All right, this is, oh no, this is a key, oh, that's really nice. Okay, this is like some good stuff here. We're gonna wait and talk about that in a second. But here is that other necklace that I was talking about. It is the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone necklace, which cost $55 from the Noble Collection versus $4.90 shipped. The chain is very gold looking. The clasp is very gold looking as well. The stone itself is a very clearly cheap plastic. We just pulled it out of the package and it's already scratched up. I have seen the Noble Collection pendant. It's a little bit smaller than the Noble Collections necklace, but from far away, 
you would never know it's not the Noble Collection one. It's a little bit lighter than the Noble Collection Sorcerer's Stone, so that one is a little bit darker in color, a little bit of a richer red, but this is a perfectly fine pendant if you wanted to wear the Sorcerer's Stone around your neck. All right, the last necklace is the Deathly Hollows symbol. For $2.61, including shipping, you get this small Deathly Hollows pendant. The chain feels a lot cheaper than the Sorcerer's Stone pendant chain. It's also half the price. It's made out of a light metal, so it's not plastic, which is a benefit. But for $2.61, this is a fantastic item. And once again, for cosplay, if you're playing Xenophilius Lovegood, this is a really good, inexpensive addition to your cosplay. So as you're seeing, there is some good stuff on Wish.com. There's also some really bad stuff on Wish.com. I want to show you some of the wands that I had purchased from the previous Harry Potter Wish haul. So here is the Noble Collection Lucius Malfoy wand. Solid metal handle. Super, super heavy duty. Nice black wand. Here is the Wish version version of this wand. So as you're seeing, it's a lot smaller. This is resin versus metal. This is painted versus polished. And it's a lot smaller and shorter than the actual wand. So this, if I remember correctly, was $11. I mean, granted, this is a really expensive item. This is $109. It comes with Lucius Malfoy's cane, and it's a stunning replica, but it is on the more expensive side. So I understand if you're doing a Lucius Malfoy cosplay, this is a better alternative. But I did want to warn you that there are some really bad replicas on wish.com. You think you're ordering this and then this arrives. And that's usually true with the more expensive items. So wands, you'll see a wide variety of prices. A lot of times you'll see the word like premium wand versus standard wand on the Wish website. Standard wand is something more like this, whereas a premium wand, I mean, it, you probably wouldn't receive this, but it would be more like this. Very quickly, I want to go through two other wands. This is the Noble Collection Elder Wand, so Dumbledore's wand. Really beautiful feels great in the hand, nice detail. This is the standard Wish wand from Wish. As you can see already, it's missing this white detail here. It does have six bulbs, but it's a lot shorter than the real Noble Collection wand. So all that to say, if you see a listing for two Elder Wands, for example, one is priced at $5, one is priced at $11, the $11 one is going to look more authentic, most likely. But again, you never know with Wish. All right, let's see what this package is here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's a pin. Turn to page 394. I was curious to see what Wish pins look like. And it's a little enamel book pin that has that famous Severus Snape line. Turn to page 394. Perfectly fine enamel pin. It's thick, feels nice, and it cost $1.88 shipped. All right, there is another mystery package here. I don't remember ordering this, but it's another necklace. And after looking at my order history, it was free if you pay $4 shipping. And let me tell you, for a $4 item, this is nice. I mean, you would find this in like a Hot Topic or Box Lunch for like $12.90 or $14.90. It's a Ravenclaw's diadem pendant on a really long chain. The detail isn't like spot on or anything, but for this size, it's not bad. There is no diamond embellishing on the eagle itself. In this case, it's a raven, but we do have fake sapphires in the middle. And I mean, look at this. For a Ravenclaw, this is a really nice item for four bucks. The pendant is made of a light, cheap metal. But again, it's a cheap item that will look really cool around your neck. All right, I wanna show you that item that I was surprised about when I opened it up. It's a keychain, and it was on the more expensive side. This feels like the ornament that you can purchase at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now this was $10.90 shipped, which for a keychain is pretty expensive, so I would expect it to be a nicer quality keychain, but it is a nice quality keychain. So it's a chocolate frog, card and then a chocolate frog on the back is a gold medal it's on a gold keychain and it feels pretty solid so it doesn't feel like it's just gonna fall off or break apart really nice enamel chocolate frog card or I guess this would be the chocolate frog box and then the chocolate frog itself has some really nice detail on it so if you're like dying to have a chocolate frog keychain this is a good option for you again it's more on the expensive side when it comes to wish if this was an authorized item it would probably cost about the same but a very cool well-made looking keychain all right let's see what's next what is this 
Might be a shirt of some kind. Now, when it comes to Wish, it does take a while for items to be delivered. I ordered all this stuff in January and it was just recently delivered. It is a shirt <laughs> straight out of Azkaban. So I have seen these shirts before and on Wish it cost me $18 shipped. In this video, I wanted to purchase some more higher priced items to compare them to the previous video that I did, which were mostly lower cost items. That way we can kind of determine what's worth purchasing and what's not worth purchasing. The printing is not bad, it's screen printed. And for $18, this is something that you would find for, you know, 20 or 22 bucks here in the States. But overall, I think this is a great shirt. Let's put it on. So it fits really well. I like the black and white coloring. I would just be careful washing this shirt because this screen printing will eventually rub off. But I am noticing, if you're noticing it too, it is a little bit crooked. This side is a little bit higher than this side and it's a little bit off center too. So now having it on, I don't think that the 18 bucks is worth it. We're gonna change back into my Quidditch shirt. All right, let's see what is next. We have a bag of ties. I purchased all four houses. And if you remember the previous video, we did look at the Slytherin tie and we compared it to the Lockhaven tie, which is the company that made the ties for the Harry Potter movies. These are made of polyester. Those are made of silk. The real ties are a little bit thicker and these have kind of like a little ribbed design on them. Beautiful bright colors. And they were $6.85 each. So for cosplay, this is a big win if you want to go as a student. You could also buy a bunch of these and use them in some sort of like craft project or decorative project so you won't feel bad cutting them up if you need to. I would love to just like jump in a pool full of Hogwarts house ties. I don't know why but <laughs> it just seems like it'd be really fun. All right, next up we have a Wish robe. Now, my first initial thoughts are this is really cheap. The patch itself is poorly made. The threading is already coming out. It doesn't look very good as well. The fabric itself is a lot cheaper and thinner than the fabric we find on the Wizarding World of Harry Potter robes or the Cine Replica robes. Now, I wear a medium Wizarding World of Harry Potter robe. This is a medium here, so let's see how it fits. All right, it is a lot shorter than the Wizarding World of Harry Potter robes. It is really tight around my chest here. It's very short and even the sleeves are really short too. Now I don't think that I ordered a children's medium but let me double check in my order history. No I definitely ordered a adult medium size and this was $24.20. Now granted the Wizarding World of Harry Potter robes are $125 so $100 more. The Cine Replica robes are in the $100 range so $75 more than this but they are a lot higher quality all around and the sizing actually fits. This for example is a medium shirt. So if you do want to go for one of these robes, I suggest you get twice as large as you normally wear. So an extra large probably would have fit a lot better on me than this one. But then again, I don't know how the sleeves would be on a larger size. So definitely something to consider if you're looking to cosplay as a Hogwarts student. It may be better just to save up for one of the higher quality robes. You can also check other places like Amazon, read some of those reviews, or look on eBay for a used official robe. I've seen a lot of pre-owned or used robes on eBay for sale. So of the two wearables that we purchased, except for like the ties and the jewelry, I don't think wish.com is the best option for apparel. And speaking of the robes, if you wanted to make your own robe, for example, wish.com sells iron on patches. And let me tell you, this is a great iron on patch. The colors are bright, the stitching looks really good, and it's $1.80 shipped. You can't beat that. Wizarding World of Harry Potter also sells patches. They're more expensive, of course, and a little bit more detailed, but this is a great alternative and wish.com sells all four houses. So again, if you're going to make a robe, you may want to consider purchasing a patch from Wish. All right, really quickly, before we look at the wands, I want to look at the coins. A lot of times you'll see coins for like a dollar and free shipping on wish.com. So the galleon, the sickle and the knut. These are the coins from the Noble Collection and you get all three in a display case for $30. They are thick, they're heavy, the shine is really nice. You do have to re-shine them every once in a while because they do tarnish. But by comparison, so here's the galleon. This is the Wish Galleon, here's the Noble Collection Galleon. A lot thinner, this is more like a tin 
and feels similar to like a Chuck E. Cheese token, whereas this actually feels like a gold coin. So if you see that deal, $1, and this is photographed, this is what is going to arrive. And I talked more about these coins in the previous video, as well as some other items that you're not gonna see in this one, like Slytherin's Locket, Ravenclaw's Diadem, and Marvolo Gaunt's Ring. I'll link it down below if you're interested in watching that one too. All right, it is wand time. We have a box here that says Magic Wand, and on the bottom of the box there is a hole, so I don't know if like a little mouse or something was living in there. We have some more wands in here, and then one wand in here. So let's actually open up this one first. Da -na -na. Oh, it's Professor Umbridge's wand. This is a pretty darn good copy or fake of the Noble Collection one. It's a little bit more rough when it comes to the sculpt work and the polish. Size-wise, I'm pretty sure this is close to the Umbridge wand size. It has that gem in the center, and it would be a great alternative to Umbridge's actual wand, which is on the more expensive side from Noble Collection because it comes with a display. I think it's in like the $40 or $50 range with that display. But this was $8.80, and this was marked as one of the high quality wands, which again means it's going to look closer to the real wand or the authorized wand than one of the standard quality ones. All right, let's open up the magic wand box. <laughs> Oh, this is a, a light-up wand. All right, this is a Death Eater light-up wand, and I know what wand they are copying, but it, it doesn't look anything like that one. So there's a little button here, and does it light up? Lumos. It does indeed. One benefit to this wand is you press it once, it stays lit. Nux, press the button again, and it turns off. I'm not sure if the Noble Collection lighted wands are like that or if you need to hold the button to keep it lit, but that's a nice addition. It is a cool white LED at the top and the paint job on it is not great. It doesn't look like wood, it doesn't look like stone, it just looks like a very poorly sculpted, very poorly painted wand. And when it comes to price, I can't find this wand in my order history. So we're gonna put it aside, and then once we look at the other wands, we'll see if this is supposed to be something else that I'm not recognizing. All right, there are quite a few wands in here. Okay, this again, if you know Noble Collection wands, you'll know that this is a pretty good copy of the Noble Collection Voldemort wand. Now I don't have Voldemort's wand here in the Potter Collector Library, but having seen it, it's, it's pretty darn close. Paint-wise, it's a little bit more rough than Voldemort's real wand, and we can't compare the size of it, but really nice wand. Okay, next up, Narcissa Malfoy's wand. This is one of my favorite wands. I think it's so beautifully designed, and this is a pretty darn good replica. This was $14.60 shipped from Wish. Now, let's talk about Noble Collection prices for a second when it comes to their wands. They have three options or tiers when it comes to wands. They have the window display box, which is basic retail packaging. They have the wand box option, and they have the collectible Ollivander's wand box option. The Noble Collection sells their wands in the regular wand box option for $34, and it comes with a metal nameplate that you can attach to the wand itself. This is what one of those wand boxes looks like. And then they sell for $37.50 the Ollivander replica wand boxes with the wand. Now, not all wands come with this special box, but as you can see, it looks a lot nicer than these wand boxes. It looks a lot more authentic to the movie version. These still look fantastic on your shelves, but this is the more premium version. And on the inside, there's some ribbon, and the wand itself fits in this velvet lined box here. Whereas with this option, it's just plastic lined. This is Grindelwald's wand, by the way. So again, not a bad option for wand boxes, but again, if you're purchasing a wand from the Noble Collection and it does come in the Ollivander's replica box, I suggest that you purchase this one over this one. And then the third option is $29.99 in retail stores, and it's just a cardboard box with a plastic window here with some information about the wand. So it's really just meant for packaging and then recycling after you've opened it up. So those are the three price points when it comes to purchasing wands from the Noble Collection. So to get something of 
similar quality for half the price. That is great for cosplay, doesn't come with a box or anything. Wish.com is a good option. All right, there are two wands left. And actually I purchased Professor McGonagall's wand and her wand is not here. So this may have just been a mistake or error because this is not McGonagall's wand, I'll tell you that. Or maybe they sent that in place of McGonagall's wand, I'm not sure. All right, these two wands, I have both of them in the collection. I'm going to pull them from my shelves right now and we're gonna do a comparison because what I'm seeing with both of these is really, really nice. All right, we have Nicholas Flamel's wand from the Noble Collection and wow. <laughs> Okay, I would not know that this is not a Noble Collection wand. I mean, maybe looking at some of the paint mistakes, this isn't something that Noble Collection would put out. Design-wise, side by side, it's almost as if this is from the same mold. Look at those wands. I mean, right now I, I'm confused which one's real. Okay, so something we didn't touch on in this video is determining whether something is real, for example, from the Noble Collection or something is from Wish. Any Harry Potter Potter item that is authorized and authentic will have trademark information. So on the wands, for example, on the shaft is a little bit of copyright information printed. There is no copyright info printed on the fake or unauthorized ones. The fake one is a little bit lighter in color and a little bit longer, but I have to say I like the design of the gold and black on the fake wand compared to the real one, which has almost too much gold paint. This one looks tarnished and more old. So super, super impressed with this wand here. I paid $37.50 for this wand with the wand box. The wand from Wish was $14.80. Nicholas Flamel cosplayers, go to Wish and buy your wand there because this is a really good option for you. That's impressive. And last but not least, I think is gonna be another really close replica, Hermione's wand. This is so well sculpted and detailed. The vines and the leaves are really clear. The color is correct from what I remember. I have Hermione's wand right here. So let's open this up and see how it compares. All right, color wise, they are very similar. The real wand has more detail when it comes to the paintwork. It looks more like wood. The vines kind of fade into the wand a little bit more, which is nice. Whereas the fake one, the edges are a lot more sharp, so they stand out more. But the real one definitely wins when it comes to this fake one. Balance wise, the fake one is a little more top heavy than the real one. So the real one feels better in the hand compared to the fake one. Size wise, the fake one is a little bit longer. And then we have the copyright info on the real one here and nothing on the fake one. Cosplay wise, this is great. Another great wand if you're doing a Hermione Granger cosplay. But collectible wise, I would definitely suggest going with the Noble Collection wand. And just like the others, this one was 14 80. So what do you guys think about the items that I showed from Wish in this video? Are they things that you would purchase for yourself for the price? Are you more someone who would like to save up your money and get the authentic or the real version from the Noble Collection or other authorized dealers? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Also let me know if you found some really good items on Wish that like Hermione's wand or Nicholas Flamel's wand, for example, are super close to the originals that are sometimes half the price or even more than half the price. I'd also like to hear if you've purchased something that looks really good on wish.com and then when it arrived, it wasn't quite what you were expecting. There are those items out there. So again, just be cautious and careful. Read the reviews on wish.com so that you know what you're buying before you buy it. And once again, I've linked in the description down below the other wish video, which shows some of the items that are cheaper quality, like the coins, for example, Ravenclaw's diadem, and then some of those other wands. We talk about them in more detail. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?